The United States is actively pursuing hypersonic missile technology, demonstrated by recent successful tests, such as the long-range hypersonic weapon system flown by the Army and Navy. This missile, traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5, is designed to be fast, maneuverable, and resilient in battlefield conditions, with ongoing tests aimed at operational deployment on land and sea platforms. The Pentagon has significantly increased its budget for hypersonic research, requesting $6.9 billion for fiscal year 2025 compared to $4.7 billion in 2023, signaling a strong commitment to advancing this technology. While the U.S. is making progress, assessments indicate that China may have surpassed both the United States and Russia in hypersonic weapons development. China's hypersonic arsenal includes systems such as the Dongfeng-17 missile and other advanced delivery vehicles, which reportedly have ranges between 1,800 to 2,500 kilometers and are considered highly capable. U.S. intelligence and analysts acknowledge China's rapid advancements, which could shift the strategic balance and complicate military and diplomatic relations among these superpowers. Strategically, the U.S. views hypersonic weapons as a crucial area for maintaining military advantage and deterrence against rivals like Russia and China. Some experts argue that winning the hypersonic race is a national imperative. The debate centers on whether the competition is a direct strategic rivalry requiring aggressive development or a more peripheral contest that risks escalating tensions unnecessarily. Nonetheless, the U.S. military is focused on integrating hypersonic capabilities across all services, land, sea, and air to create a comprehensive and interoperable defense posture. Despite setbacks such as the HALO missile cancellation, the U.S. continues to invest in upgrading existing missile systems like the Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, El Arasm, and is committed to a test-fast, fail-fast, learn-fast approach to accelerate innovation and deployment. However, the lack of established programs of record and limited testing facilities pose ongoing obstacles to the rapid fielding of hypersonic weapons. In contrast, Russia is also advancing its hypersonic capabilities with the Tsirkon missile expected to enter service by 2025, capable of Mach 9 speeds and deployment from both ships and submarines. 